if you're working on something and you're getting defeated or don't feel very motivated, keep going. Um, because that's kind of been my mentality. I get defeated, I get down, but I keep going. Oh my gosh, that was literally so much fun. I'm dripping in sweat, it's so hot. Um, I had like makeup on, trying to make myself look pretty and it's like all sweated off now. So no, that was so much fun connecting with all the girls. I felt like a real influencer with like the videographers and stuff. I've known that videographer for a little bit though and I'm really comfortable with him, so it was really fun. And everybody had such good energy. It's fun working out with other personal trainers because like we motivate each other, you know? Anyway, heading back home now, it's not even like 12 o'clock yet, so like I'm just gonna now start working and stuff, but that was really fun, it was great. Yeah, back home. Woo! You can do it! <laughs> Good, last 10 seconds, almost there. My whole family following my, my workout. <laughs> Less than five, almost done. Woo! Good, keep pushing. Yes, rest, and we'll do one more time. My dog is so distracting when I work, look at this. Anything done? Oh my gosh, you're just the cutest. So back on my computer, woo -hoo, working on emails, content. Blah, 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 blah. So yay. Uh, if there's any updates, I'll let you know. All right. So my coach did respond to me, um, and she basically said that the arm workouts um, I can make them harder myself by slowing down tempo, stuff like that, which I know, but. I was just letting her know. And then she said that I really can't have any slip ups, especially with prep. She's like, I need to know your mindset is there because I had the granola bar, which fucks me up in my head because I'm like more of an approachable co coach, but like it's prep, it's a completely different ball game. So I really have to get my head into like not slipping up, not allowing myself to do that, but still having a good relationship with food. And then she said that I could have more protein at, at the end of my, um, at my post-workout meal, so I have like one more ounce of chicken, but that makes a difference, so yay! And then I'm checking back with her again on Thursday in like four days, so uh, check-in seemed to be a little bit more frequent now. I guess she's just trying to see where I'm at, so yeah. Good morning. <laughs> That's my dog. Um, good morning, okay. It's early again, it's like 6 a.m. and nobody's up yet, but my mom finally brought the Peloton because she does have one. Yeah, but she has she had it at her boyfriend's house and I'm like, can you please bring it here because why do I need two at one house? I wanna use it. So I have to set it up now and I have no idea how to do that, so that's fun. Um, and fun fact, don't know why I'm sharing this, but my t-shirt, you see my t-shirt? This is literally like the oldest thing I own. My mom, when she was pregnant, was wearing this shirt and I still have it. It's gonna be my family forever, okay? And it's so comfy. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna have coffee, listen to my motivational speeches, do my morning routine, and then set up this bad boy because yeah, it's probably gonna take me a while. I'm like kind of technologically not advanced, okay? Not advanced. Bye. 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 So it's around 9 p.m. now. I'm just editing my vlog from last week, um, basically like getting, no, what is it, cottage. Um, and this week I have getting my shit together or whatever. And I'm just wondering what you guys wanna see because I feel like it's a lot of me <laughs> like sitting around. I, I, it's prep is hard. So, you know, you kinda wanna be by yourself to get stuff done. So it's kinda like, what do you guys wanna see, you know? Um, and this week was a lot of me like working on my computer and stuff like that. So, yeah, but well, let me know things you're curious about prep and stuff and whatever, but it's just a lot of Eating working out on a schedule. Okay, but yeah, just editing my vlog right now for 23 weeks out Um last week was a lot about like getting my shit together and this week I do actually have three birthdays coming up so that I, I have to be um Again back on my game. So I have one of my clients birthdays and then I'm well I have two birthdays and then I'm going to the beach today So going to the beach clients birthday my mom's birthday. So and my mom is getting a food truck. So with jerk chicken, I'm gonna be so like, um, sad that I can't eat it, okay? 
but yeah so i've said so so many times um right now i'm just eating breakfast i just finished my oats and then i have my egg whites with a bunch of sriracha on it because i love sriracha and yeah editing my second vlog right now and then i'm gonna go to the beach today so yay i'll see you guys soon Ooh, so I'm finally done with my video. I'm just waiting for it to upload right now. And I was just thinking, because I'm going to the beach with my friends, um, and I was thinking that I want to go to the grocery store and get like those Uncle Ben's rice, because that's what I've been eating. But I literally have so much rice in there, and I bought like low-sodium chicken broth to cook my stuff. But I am so lazy. Like Everybody says, oh, rice is easy to cook. No, it's not. Okay, I, I hate cooking rice. But I'm like, ugh, F it. I'm just going to cook it, whatever. But I really like that Uncle Ben's one, but it is dumb. It's like literally $2 for one cup when like a whole thing of rice is $2. So I'll just cook it, but I really don't want to. If you think you're bad at cooking, just please refer to me, okay? Just please refer to me. I'm literally in the middle of working out, uploading a video, waiting for my friends to come, trying to make rice, and I screwed up the ratios. Like, I did it the opposite way. Like, I put more rice than water, and I was like thinking, I'm like, I don't think that's right. So then I had to fix the ratios and put it into a bigger pot because I didn't have enough room in my little pot. <sighs> I will hire a meal prepping company, okay? Let me know if you have one in the comments because I will, I need help. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so impressed with myself. I am so impressed. I'm like, I was getting ready to go to the beach and I left it on simmer and it's like fluffy looking. I've never had rice look like that. So you know what? All the trial and error, I really learned something new. It looks so good. Yay. Literally all the stuff I have to bring places, like just to be organized, like I have to bring my veggie greens. I'm bringing my water bottle with BCAAs, sunscreen, whatever. Um, you know, smell good at the beach, okay? And then I'm getting this from my friend. Uh, head says gym, heart says wine, because we're both personal trainers. And I don't want in the house because I'll drink it. And then literally my rice and chicken. So we just switched. Um, we just switched my menu around. So I get one more ounce of protein after my workout. So five ounces of chicken. And then in there it's 200 grams of white rice. It can be brown too. Um, and I cook it in like a low sodium chicken broth. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird eating white rice. But I prefer sweet potatoes because it has like more nutrients. But it's like... Um, they get old so fast and they taste awful. So yeah, and then I just have my beach towel over here too. And we're gonna go to the beach. I think it's gonna rain, but it's hot. So whatever, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, traveling during prep, okay? Super fun. Okay, we're going to the beach now. I don't wanna take my camera, so I'm not going to, but yeah, peace and love. Good morning, guys. Um, good morning. <laughs> I got back from the beach yesterday and I was so tired. Um, yeah, so, so tired. So I passed out. Um, I had a white claw at the beach yesterday though and like some extra food because I cannot control myself around people. So like I have to stay alone basically. Sorry if you can hear my thing, it's just going off right now. But um, yeah, I don't know. I have to figure out a way to be around people and resist stuff because my willpower has to be stronger than that. So. Anyway, yeah, I just woke up. I had a pretty good sleep. It's around eight now, but I've been up since like seven, just doing some stuff on my computer. And I'm gonna do the Peloton today too, cause we finally have one at our house. And yeah, but yeah, I have to figure out my willpower cause I can do pretty well when I'm by myself in the house. But when I step outside of the house, it's it's dangerous, okay? So I need to figure figure that out really fast here. Um, okay, cool. I'll see you on the Peloton. Oh my god, okay, I definitely took off the sweater. I'm dripping in sweat. I'm just gonna stretch now, make breakfast, and then I have to teach a Zoom class for my clients on my Facebook group. So yeah, I'm thinking about opening one to the public as well. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I don't really do like a lot of fun stuff at all. That's why I like don't have my camera on. I, literally, I have a call I'm supposed to go on at six. I have two business coaches right now. I'm just constantly on my computer learning, doing stuff. And I know that's like, like what the hell, but it's just trying to get my business off the ground, okay? So it's just, that's pretty much it. So I'm just constantly trying to learn and put stuff into action. So yeah, that's why not a lot going on, okay?
Good morning. Um, good morning. <laughs> I just weighed myself. It's Tuesday. My check-in's not till Thursday, and it says 136. If that's true, that is insane because that's I've never been lower than 140. So crazy, okay? And again, I've just been kind of like on and off the camera because I haven't been doing much. Um, so yeah, today I'm about to do my fasted cardio. I have to go to my job, so job. <laughs> I work at F45, but I just, it's like part-time. And then I come back and I, I use all my time to work towards my business goals. So maybe I can make a vlog about that. Um, just because I'm doing the same thing kind of day in, day out right now for prep. It's fasted cardio, a workout day, and the same meal plan. But I will tell you my um, <clears throat> check-in on Thursday. <clears throat> but yeah, maybe I'll take you through like a business day, like how I set up my schedule, what I do, who I am. <laughs> So yeah, but I'm just listening to my motivational speech this morning, having some coffee, and then I'm gonna jump on the Peloton. So, but I'm, if I'm 136, I love how I'm saying if, like I just got on the scale and said that, but like, that's crazy. Cause I started this week at 140. I guess I could have lost like water weight and stuff like that, but that is the smallest I've ever been then. Crazy. Hey guys, guess what I'm doing? Working on my computer, okay? nothing's changed for the past two weeks i don't know um but yeah i'm feeling a little bit better i feel like before, like a, a couple hours ago i was kind of feeling like down um just because i've been working on my computer for two weeks this is gonna sound stupid i've been working at my computer you know trying to get stuff off the ground and it's just like kind of demotivating when things don't happen as fast as you want them to happen but that being said you know, it's been two weeks. I've been working on my business in all for four months. I've been really seriously working on it for maybe two months, you know? People spend years working on their business. So if you're working on something and you're getting defeated or don't feel very motivated, keep going. Um, because that's kind of been my mentality. I get defeated, I get down, but I keep going because number one, I haven't been working that long. I do feel like I've been working pretty hard, but I haven't been working that long. So you kind of have to establish yourself first and not just get frustrated because it would be more shitty to go back to what you're doing instead of continuing the thing that you love to do. All right, so keep going, even when it gets hard, okay? But I totally understand because I've been there, I feel defeated, you feel like, oh my God, I haven't made a sale in X amount of time and um, I know what I'm offering is good and then people don't see it or you're not getting in front of the right eyes or people don't care about it and it's just like oh it's my baby it's frustrating but keep going the right people will see it the right time will come and my time will come so i'm with you okay i'm with you but anyway yeah i just been on my computer all day it's around dinner time i'm i still have my shake later um and yeah but i've been doing pretty well honestly if i'm by myself i can eat perfectly work out whatever it's when i step outside of my house and see friends or do anything at all, that's when I start to get tempted. So yeah, I'm gonna have to be a little bit of a loner for my prep. Good morning. Whew, I'm tired. I slept in today till like 7 a.m. Um, I wanted to wake up at five, but I slept in. Um, I'm gonna weigh myself. Today's my check-in with my coach. So yeah, moment of truth. I had a pretty good week, like, um, I had, I had a good week, like I exercised a lot. Um, I just had a white claw when I was at the beach with my friends. I cannot hang out with people. And then I was so hungry by the end of the week. I think I'm like supposed to get my period. And I just craved sweets so bad. So I ended up having like extra of my healthy stuff. So like if I had one rice cake with peanut butter and banana, I would have like another one. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Let's weigh ourselves. It says 140, but yesterday it was like 139. Um, and like the lowest I was all week was like 136. So I feel like I'm gonna work out and weigh myself again. I think I just might be holding on to water weight. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let's work out and see what happens. All right, just finished my fasted cardio, as you can tell. <laughs> and I'm gonna weigh myself now and see what happens. Let's see, the moment of truth. Well, I gained a pound. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so I want to say I'm 139, but whatever. I weighed myself today. I was 140, um, and yeah. But I felt a huge difference this week, so I don't know. Whatever. The scale doesn't really matter too much. It's more like what you look like. So yeah, I'll tell my coach 140, and I'll tell her about the cheats I had this week. 
okay, I ran to F45. So I did my fasted cardio, had half of my breakfast, had to run to F45 because we're testing out like our new COVID measures. Um, did another class and then came back. I'm about to finish my breakfast, my other half of my breakfast, my egg whites, and I had another cup of coffee, but I want to do my check-in now. So yeah, one second. <laughs> just half naked working on my floor, just the usual, but my mom's here too. But um, I did my check-in, I didn't really tell you guys though, but okay, so my check-in, whatever, we saw the updates, I stayed at 140, even though I kind of fluctuated like 138, 137, 136 this week, but then like I did eat more than I should have, right? So I talked to her, I said I did my seven days of fasted cardio, my exercise has been great. Um, uh, how much energy do you, energy did you have this week? I said five to six. I didn't really have good sleep, so I've just been kind of stressed out. Um, I said I was an eight hungry this week, okay? At the end of the week, I was craving sweets, okay? So I put an eight, and like, yeah, I had like a granola bar. If I had something like healthy, I already said this, but if I had something healthy, like my Quaker rice cakes or whatever, I would eat like an extra one because it has peanut butter and bananas and it just shouldn't be in my household. But yeah. How much effort did you put in this week? I put an eight because I did eat more of my healthy stuff and I did have a white claw at the beach when I was with my friends, but that's better than having like 10 at the cottage, okay? So I'm making small incremental changes, which is good for a lifestyle, but it's a completely different ball game than prep. And I'm feeling nervous and anxious, but I just have to kind of get over that. Um, how did you feel this week? I said, I feel good, but when I'm around people or crave something, it's hard not to give in. I went to the beach one day, whatever, what I just said, right? Um, everything I basically just said. I said, exercise is going great, but I, it's hard for me to resist cravings. I need to avoid sweets and cravings and, um, and just being around people, I get more tempted and stuff. So anyway, she responded uh, and she said, so you're making decent changes and I, I do like her because she's a hard ass and again, that's not really my approach, but I love it because I need it. Uh, she says, I'm gonna be brutally honest. I don't think you're ready to prep for a show. We've been working together almost a month and not one week has been bang on in terms of fully committing to the diet. At the end of the day, prepping is not for everyone. It takes a certain mindset and level of dedication that I just haven't been getting. I understand the want for flexibility and a, and to live a little. That's okay. It's a, in a lifestyle client respect. It doesn't work for prep though. So I pose to you, how legitimate is your goal of competing? Do you truly feel you're ready to commit? If not, I can absolutely still help you get the epic changes you want. Um, uh, I won't prep someone to step on stage if they aren't hundred percent mentally and physically invested. That's also not to say we can't prep down the road, but maybe we should build up like your lifestyle before doing that. We're coming up to 20 weeks, which is when prep starts and you're not where I want you to be. Right? Okay, so, ah! I'm not like, thanks for calling me out, like whatever, that's fine. I'm just more nervous about prep. I don't know why, like I need to get the fuck over this because I'm so excited to prep, I want to prep, and I'm always like the dedicated person that is like, you, if you want something, like go get it. And now here I am fucking <laughs> nervous to prep only because I love food and I, I don't want to have a shitty relationship with food. And I, you know, I see these changes each week. Like I'm not having as much shitty food. I like, I have been making changes every week, but they're in a lifestyle respect. They're good. But in prep, you have to be like on it. Right. So I'm almost like, like, okay, do I back out or do I back out for like a month and get my lifestyle shit together and then come back or the, is there just never gonna be a perfect time? I feel like if I do back out, I'm gonna be like upset with myself. But if I go in, I just wanna do this with like a healthy approach. Um, so I feel like I should just like give it my all, but it's just like, I just have to really like um, talk to myself like and not give in to like my cravings, temptations, whatever. But it's just a whole different ball game for me. So I guess it's like scary but it's just something new. So I just have to like actually go all in. I don't know. What do you think? Go all in. You've made it this far already. Well, I haven't made it that far, clearly. But you've made so many changes and adjustments. Yeah. And if it's one white claw that you have to resist. <laughs> and granola bars, I love And them. one granola bar <laughs> that you have to resist. You've already done everything else. I know, my, my exercising is not the issue. It's always fucking diet. <sighs> You are one granola bar over. I'm two. And that's 40 carbs. Like it does add up a lot. Then cut that out. Yeah, no, I know. 
But it's just like to restart in four weeks is insane. To yeah, me. yeah. You've already done this. I know. I'm already. You're like right here. there. It's just she's pushing you to make a commitment. <laughs> so right now you can either commit or you can accept the the out, and that's uh -huh. I don't think what she wants you to do. She's testing you. Well, she's about to win. No. All right, no, I do believe in myself and that I can do it. I'm just like nervous to make like a real change, which is like obviously what happens when you want to make a change. So it's kind of like, mm. okay, let's see. I'm going to respond. Uh, I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prep is a different ball game. I can eat healthy ish, like 80% on my diet, 20% off. I can like work out every single day. I love working out two, three times a day. I love working out. Okay. But yeah, but like being a hundred percent all in is difficult, but it's a good thing to learn for your life. And it is crazy what these girls go through that compete and I've always wanted to be one of them so like it's like you do you want to snack on granola bars or do you want to compete which is something you've always wanted to do Woo! okay I sent it awesome. and she said exactly those little things should be so insignificant they aren't even a question I need to see a shift this week and every week ahead or I will stop the official competition prep okay I need you all in Here's the first phase of gym programming. So thank God gyms are now open. So she's giving me the gym programming. So she wants to see like where my mental's at. And this is awesome that she pushes me. She wants to make sure that I'm all in. Like I get that. So yeah, that's what a coach is for. Um, so basically I just have to be recording what I'm doing at the gym, like weight wise so that she can, um, whatever, monitor it. And then she's just making little tweaks to my meal plan, like decreasing my peanut butter, which is like my favorite thing right now. Um, uh, and then she sent me like five days to work out one rest and then five days again. So yeah, this is, um, I have to be all in. So yeah, this is going to be hard, but that's what a commitment is. It's something different. It's something new and it's something you have to adjust to. All right. It's not supposed to be easier. Everybody would do it. So I understand that. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous obviously, but I'm also excited and I need to commit. I feel like Sometimes I'm kind of half in on things and I need to like fully commit and be present. So yeah, let's get started, dude. We're like almost at week 20, almost five months out. 20 is like when shit gets real. So <sighs> thank you guys for watching my vlog. Thank you guys for being here. Please support me on this fitness journey, weight loss journey, competition prep journey. Okay. And uh, yeah, new videos come out every Sunday. <sighs> and thank you guys for watching and for being here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog and for being a part of my channel. I just want to share my weekly check-in with you here. So on the left, you can see I'm 22 weeks out, 140 pounds. And on the right, I am 21 weeks out, still at 140 pounds. I see a little bit of differences and my posing is hopefully getting a little bit better, <laughs> but I'm not really sure. But again, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you following my journey. And yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. 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 Bye.